Hey, and welcome to another video. If you enjoy our content, please leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to our channel. This would help us a lot. Now let's start. If you want to use the same image, navigate to laser-pics.com. There are hundreds of free, awesome images. I also link the image in the video description. Click on the image and download either the original or the already prepared file. In my case, I'll use the original since I want to prepare it with you. As soon as we have downloaded the file, navigate to image-r.com. This is an online tool to convert images into laser-ready files for free. Scroll down and click the upload button. Since we want to engrave it, choose grayscale. Next, resize the image to the final dimensions you want to engrave. For my 80 watt CO2, I use 318 DPI because I use a compound lens. Image R has a feature to determine your DPI value. If you don't know your value yet, I recommend watching the video in the top right corner. After resizing, choose a material. I mostly use Casia wood for birch plywood. You can try the other algorithms as well, they're all great. The one touch function automatically fixes shadows and lighting. I usually disable sharpen and denoise on high quality images. The color correction function in advanced settings automatically brightens very dark areas and reveals hidden details. Gamma adjustment flattens the midtones to make the final engraving more even. As you can see, we lost some details in the sky. We can easily fix that by decreasing the levels, which shifts the whites to a smaller range and creates dots in the missing area. That's basically it. Now download the file as PNG and import it into your laser software. On my 80 watt CO2 laser, I use 120 millimeters per second for speed, 15% maximum power and 1% minimum power. Very important, make sure the pass-through option is activated. If not, the software will process the image again and ruin the image R preparation. Next, draw a rectangle with the same dimensions as the image and change the mode from fill to line, since it is for cutting. With the P key on your keyboard, you can center the rectangle. For cutting 3.2 millimeters plywood, I use 15 millimeters per second speed 25% maximum power, and 15% minimum power. Now let's do a ramp test before we start the job, so we have perfect focus. I put a tile in my work area and a scrap plywood piece to build a ramp. Move the laser head to one end of the scrap piece and cut a line with low power and fast speed. We want to mark it, not cut through. This should create a line that starts thick, gets thinner, and ends thick again. The thinnest part is our perfect focus. Move the laser head exactly over that thinnest point. With a digital caliper, measure the distance between the material and the laser head. This is our final focus distance. Now remove the tile and the scrap piece and add the final material. I place magnets on each corner and in between to make sure the material is completely flat. Set the height to the distance we measured earlier and start the job. If it sounds like mosquitoes on steroids, the focus is perfect. As you can see, we have awesome shading, lighting, and different brown tones. The sky looks beautiful and no details are missing. When it's finished, I use a soft brush to remove any residue from the engraving process. Now we have a very nice, stunning image on wood. An awesome piece ready to be cool deco inside the house or a great gift for friends and family. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have cool ideas for upcoming videos, please let me know in the comments. We would really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. See you soon. Bye.